I used them once. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. Spaceport seems busier than normal. War always moves in forward to frontiers. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill gotten gains. How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here. Back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave when it befits them. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right. Heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Keep an eye on your things. These cooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. They have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill. The soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. Mantis, what are you... Do you still have those suicide urges? What? No? And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sun Lord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No, no, no. That's not... Oh, oh you poor... No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. Where the Kotati they wrote, the broken promise of all will be mended. Remember. Mantis, you okay? Oh, hey, Gamora! You look less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah, uh, fuck. Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy? Green. Okay, bye. 
So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. What the heck was that? Drax! Watch it, Star-Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Uh... Gamora? Gamora? <sighs> Guess I'll go talk to Cosmo alone. Maybe a gaudy bobble will make me feel better. Might as well get something to commemorate the time my team ditched me. That's actually pretty cool. And buying it made me feel better. Drax, bud. Is everything all right? Do you believe that this is the edge of the universe, Peter Quill? Well, yeah, because it is. So, uh, this is the thing you had to do? Come to the observation deck to look at the rift? No. I came to honor the memory of my family. They died without meaning. Or honor. I think I know what you mean, man. My mom won the, uh, Shatara game. She also died for no reason. They just... Shot her. But at least she's in a better place now. Right? In Katathian religion, we believe that in order to reach Umtaf, one must lead a life filled with purpose. And that failure to do so results in banishment to Sarduth. Our families have been cast out of paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. Whoa, whoa, wait. Wherever my mom is, it's not out there, okay? She was a good person. How do you know? Because I just know, all right? If she's anywhere, it's in heaven. She doesn't just deserve to... stop being. If you do not mind, Peter Quill, I would like to be left alone now. Oh, yeah. Sure, man, no problem. I'll catch you back at the ship. Oh, <laughs> 
I hope Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait. How did you know my name? Go. Or end up in Cosmo prison. You choose. Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure. Not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay. Just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team. If I can find them. Peter! There's something out there! But I won't tell you what it is, because I think being distant makes me mysterious. Who's there? Oh, I hate mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. I am Groot. Stop being so nice to a proud rumble hiss. Fuck! I'm giving myself a heart attack. Got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys! Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Uh, get to the point, Terran! The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Like the bounty says. 
What's that word on your back say? The uh, I Heart Nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, 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 lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die. Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Dude. <laughs> uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross Lady H. I'll triple. I'll, I'll, I'll triple it. Yeah, now, Rob. Maybe we sit down, have a chocolate dog, talk this over. Loud mouth, Karen. It's boot blarkin' time! One more, Terran! <laughs> Guys, this is a big misunderstanding! She's gonna feed you to her pets! Get crushed, Terran! Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! Here. No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! 
happening? It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king. Of an entire world. Called Spartax. Far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. But leading is never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're gonna have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. Oh, shit. <gasps> no!
They had to pick today of all days. You don't think this was a coincidence, do you, Ma? What are these things, Mom? failed your mission, miserably. Peter Quill, these lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we're no slouches. We're part of a league now. No, no, no. Not a league. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster, not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry. There's more coming. Uh, did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah. That's great, Drax. Won't be hey, long this is a big mistake. I'm innocent. Crap. Not us. Mm -mm. Cosmo, are you out Friends there? Are breaking us out. Cosmo, soon. real soon. When you wish we did, Q. Be silent. Hello, Cosmo. I really need to use the bathroom. Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. I am Groot. Yeah, get your mitts off of him! Ow! The little bugger just scratched me! Oh, I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Ugh. Hey guys, didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cram it, Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scruff crew in one too. Shut up and get in there. <laughs> Come on, dude, what's your problem? You are, that's why we quit. <laughs> yes, you did. Now stop talking to him! Rocket, buddy, come on, we had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper like? <sighs> you know what? You're a real piece of. <laughs> what do you think I was gonna say? <laughs> I'm roughing that too. <laughs> I mean, man. <laughs> what? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times. I'm not a roughing animal. What were you talking about? You rough. <laughs> Sorceress, this. Where are we? You would have been still on nowhere. <laughs> Osmo, how you doing, buddy? We were just about. <laughs> Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic Gulag. Broke into the... the... Do not feed Cosmo. Get Biscuit's Peter Quill. You work with Blood Brothers. 
create distraction, so pesky raccoon and sentient tree friend can use Continuum Cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the... No right. Guardian of Galaxy, we're on Nova Rock. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmo sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> right away, sir. Fraternity of Raptors. Cult of the Negative Zone. Universal Church whoa, 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 of Truth. Stop! <laughs> that's them. That old man that's with them. Shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. Grand Unifier Raker, leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bell for Cosmo. He's old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with gold skin God. Let us investigate the Hallow's Hope for you. <gasps> what? You said none of your teams return, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed, and we want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do. So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quill. And not, not fun, fun kind, kind with ball. Ball. <laughs> What Guardian of Galaxies want in return? Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the World Mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. <clears throat> Face it, Dog Breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship, stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship? My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. Exactly. To original settlement. From early days, before Kivan group came. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned, mostly. And highly restricted. Uh. This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait, this is the Continuum Cortex? It's, it's the best, best way, way to reach Nova, Nova ship, ship before moves again. You found Corel. Where is she? Nova ship, ship currently in a leader system, system orbiting Michael planet. Contraxia. Cosmo not surprised. Pesky raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcasts same signal as Nova Rock. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. 
All them bars and bedding parlors and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. Cosmo pinned to agree with Assassin. We can find Corel and save contracts here. Maybe we shouldn't make too many guarantees. We're the guardians of the galaxy. This is what we do. I am with you, Peter Quill. You are? Of course. That was a rousing speech. Bootlicker. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy. But scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... Ah, dead Titan King no longer concerned for claws. I am surprised the rodent was able to bypass your security systems. Pesky raccoons are known for entering yards uninvited. Aw, oh, is the puppy mad that I outsmarted him? Cosmo's ancestor is Wolf. Even human, like Piotr Quill, fear Wolf. Perhaps pesky raccoon need reminder. Bring it on, dog breath. So, what is this? Like another elevator? They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Oh, what magnificent witchcraft is this? I know. It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please to step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. I'm good. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. This time, investigate Nova ship. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Goes on the best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. This is... Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. I am good. You get used to it. In space, we're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between realities, even. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing, even the places that don't exist but uh, do. It's incredible. Avengers, assemble! <laughs> what kind of name is Avengers? Does that sound normal? <laughs> normal? You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and John Jet watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. <laughs> uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide, I will find you. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> I know that sound. I am proud of you. Definitely an alternate reality. Hey, look! It's Spider-Man! Wait, is that Earth? Peter! Mom? Come on, you're date for the promise here. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay, next stop, Alice Hope. Probably. Hold on, Groot. Here we go. <gasps> Flark and Hal! Oh, it's breath! Okay, here we go! Whoa! Whoa, Flark! You guys okay? Do we look okay? 